So this is the um, closed hi-hat, the original one with the snare and the hi-hat circuit um, on a perf board with the control voltage added in. Um, now the control voltage, I have it being controlled by this at the moment. Um, if I can move it around here. Being audible. And as I increase the voltage, it increases the accent level. So this is kind of a, a dull hi-hat, uh, sort of a low hat, if you will. Um, and uh, there's a more metallic version uh, of it that we will discuss. So take a listen to the sound of a natural hi-hat. This is an open hi-hat. And I want to try to recreate this sound. So please listen. So in order to recreate this sound, I went back to the cymbal circuit of the Boss DR110. And uh, their hi-hat circuit, it turns out, was very much related to their cymbal circuit. And what they used was the cymbal ping, which is the high portion of the cymbal sound, to generate their hi-hat. Um, and it sounded very metallic and it sounded very nice. So I decided to test out um, the engineering for this and reverse engineered it. If you watched my DIY analog cymbal video, you'll know that uh, the cymbal ping sound is four oscillators and white noise uh, passively mixed together. Um, and uh, you could see the demonstration in the following clip. So here is the disconcordant uh, oscillators um, now connected to resonant bandpass filters. And so there's a high one and a low one. And so the low one is on the right there with the yellow capacitors and the high one is the blue one. And uh, let's hear what they sound like. So here is the high one. Attach it right there. And that's what it looks like. It's got a little hiss to it. And this is the symbol ping. So the closed hi-hat uh, circuit is very simple. The input trigger um, is sent to, through a 220 um, ohm resistor. And it's got a very short decay through a 0.47 microfarad capacitor. And the output signal just goes through a diode um, into the same exact VCA that the symbol uh, uses. And it's just a symbol ping sound that goes through there. Uh, so this is the short envelope of the hi-hat, the closed hi-hat. You can hear it. The open hi-hat envelope generator is virtually the same thing as the closed hi-hat except that it has two extra components, which is a larger um, capacitor and a 500K potentiometer, and this out, the output of which is buffered um, with a buffering transistor. The, that output is sent into the exact same VCA as for the uh, closed hi-hat voice. There is a separate... Um, transistor in between the two circuits that um, allows the closed high of the open hi-hat to be closed uh, when a closed hi-hat signal comes in. The VCA is the exact same VCA. And here's the long hi-hat envelope for comparison. The open hi-hat with the adjustable decay via this potentiometer right here.
the voltage controlled amplifier is the exact same as the one for the cymbal sound. So the output actually comes out from the exact same output port as for your cymbal circuit, so you don't have to add extra components. The output from the VCA goes into this transistor-based um, Salen key type um, high-pass filter, which uh, filters the signal uh, before it gets output. So this is already present within the symbol circuit. And the resistor at the tail end of that is a 5.6K resistor. The area is outlined in blue, which is the Salen key uh, resonating high pass filter with positive feedback, and the purple area, which is the VCA, are already present in the circuit if you've built the sig uh, the symbol circuit. The areas outlined in red here are optional, but these are PNP transistors to ground where the control voltage can be applied. Uh, the two on the left are for the uh, actual strength of the hit of the initial signal, and the one on the right is for the decay of the open hi-hat. So now we have a very metallic sounding hi-hat. This is the closed hi-hat as a separate voice. Open hi-hat. 